What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Target CPA, what it is, how it works, how we use it, and um, why you definitely should be using it. So before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out the links in the description. We have tons of free content and uh, training stuff for you in there that you can learn how to start building these types of campaigns for yourself. Or if you wanna work with us, you can reach out and apply to do that as well. All right, so what we're looking at right now is the last 30 days for one of our junk removal clients, and they do pretty high volume. So they did 195 leads in the last 30 days, and we're using Target CPA for them, and their campaign is converting at 37%, which is, you know, incredible. And it's <laughs> above our expectations. I'm happy with 25%. Um, obviously, anything over that is just icing on the cake. So if we go into the campaign, you can see here our ad groups and we have our target CPA set for $45 and we are getting leads for $39. So just because you set your target CPA at, at a higher, whatever number you set it at, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get leads at the exact, that exact cost, but Google's algorithm, bidding algorithms can do as best, as best as it can to get you as close to this number that you set. Now, a lot factors into this and uh, we're going to go through that in a minute, but for the most part, every time we use Target CPA, we're coming in just a little under what we set it at if we're setting it correctly. And there's a whole different thing you got to learn to, on how to set that, and I'll go over that later too. <clears throat> but for the most part, it's coming it's coming in under what we're setting it at, and it can come over over too, obviously. But I've, it's more rare. It's usually if you set this the Target CPA incorrectly or it's way too low. If it's for ten bucks, like. It's probably, I probably could do that and I will get a few leads, but it's going to crush my volume because you got to take into consideration the bid, the bid, uh, click prices. And if you're not, if you're handcuffing Google and saying, I don't want to pay what it costs to get these leads, they're going to do everything they can to try and get you the leads at that $10 range, but the volume is going to be significantly lower. So you got to keep that in mind when you're setting your target CPA. Everyone just thinks, oh, I'll set it at five bucks and I'll get, you know, you, you can't do that. All right, so if we go into settings, I shouldn't say you can't do that. I should say for for niches like that, niches like this, you can't do that. <laughs> Five dollars. All right, so we go in here and do our bidding. You can see here, there's options here where you can learn more about Target CPA, but Google basically straight up tells you exactly how it works right here. With Target CPA, Google Ads automatically sets bids to help get as many conversions as possible at the target cost per action that you set. Some conversions may cost more or less than your target. And that is entirely dependent on the keywords, right? So you're having your campaign, you're running your campaign, you have all your keywords, you can see your keywords here. And you're letting Google go nuts. You're saying, here's our keywords. Here you got your you can bid whatever you want. I don't care, as long as you get leads in or around our target CPA, which for this was forty five dollars. So something to keep in mind when you're running target CPA is you might see click prices that are outrageously high, right? Try, I know it's hard, but try not to focus on that. The only metric you really should care about running Google ads, and this is just my opinion, this is how I run all of my campaigns for all of our clients. I don't care about the cost per click. I really don't. I care about the conversion rate, the cost per conversion the most, and the conversion volume. All right, those are the three metrics I base every campaign around. Every campaign that we work on is based around those three metrics. I don't care about quality scores. I don't care about the cost per click. I care about those three metrics. Now, a lot of different levers need to be pulled to get those metrics dialed in, but if you can nail all three of those, your client's going to be happy and they're going to have a very healthy ROI. So that's really important to do. So best advice when you're setting target CPA, most of the time, Google's going to give you a suggestion when you go to set it, so you would come into your bidding and you do change bid strategy and you choose target CPA, and there'll be a number in here that Google's going to tell you. And how they get that number is based off of your campaign history, right? So first up, let's start from the beginning. You should never run target CPA right out of the gate, okay? Google's algorithm needs a conversion history in the account. So again, it's extremely important that you have conversion tracking set up correctly or this will never work. So you have to have your conversion tracking set up correctly. You have to have at least 30 days of solid conversion data with at least, I, I always say, 25 conversions. The more conversions, the better. Because the more conversions you have in the account history, the more bigger pool Google has to pull from 
on what they their algorithm is seeing that is converting for you into leads. Because they're going to go after that stuff aggressively that has sent you conversions in the past. That's how the algorithm works. It's going to take your conversion history and just kind of riff off of that and go after more more of that type of traffic that's converting highs for you. So it's important that you have those two things, okay? you got to have conversion history, at least 30 days, at least 25 conversions. I mean, obviously, the longer, if you, if you have 60 days of, of conversions, the more you have a ton of conversions, then you're, you're right. You're ready to go. So the longer, the better. And you have to have conversion tracking set up because they're going off of what you're telling them is a conversion. If you have conversion tracking set up wrong, like a lot of times we see, and you're counting, you have the tags installed wrong, and you're seeing conversions just when someone clicks and lands on your page, Google's going to think that's a conversion, and they're going to optimize their campaign to get leads for that. They think are leads. Those are not leads. That's because your conversion tracking set up wrong. So it's very important to get your, your conversion tracking set up correctly, and if you don't know how to do that, go to our ClicksGeek channel, and I have a dozen playlists on how to set up conversion tracking. And that includes phone calls too. You have to track everything. It's really important, especially if you're going to run an automated bid strategy like target CPA or maximize conversions. You have to have conversion tracking set up correctly or you're going to walk right into an unmitigated disaster. So once you have that set up, you have your conversion history. All you're going to do is come in here and Google's most likely if you have enough conversion history in the account, let's say you're running your account has 60 days worth of conversion history and you have like 50 or 60 conversions in your account, Google's going to suggest a target CPA here based on the average cost of all of those conversions. That's usually how they do it. Now, you might not see a suggestion by Google in here, and that's okay too. All you're going to do is go out to your campaign or your ad group level. It doesn't really matter. You're going to go as far back as you can. So let's do... Go back another 30 days, right? Let me move this out of the way. Let's go back another 30 days, and we'll take a look at our average cost per conversions, $39.56. So that's the entire account level, 60 days of data, $39.56 per lead for the Shuck Little Client. So that's what I would take this number, if I'm not running Target CPA yet, I would take this because it's the average cost per Per conversion and I would set that as my my uh, target CPA goal and that's how you're gonna do it now a little piece of advice before you guys get going and start running this is to is to um, give it time this is not a turn it on in two days you're getting $40 leads if it's set it at that all right it does take I would say allocate at least 14 days to let the, the bidding algorithm get its legs and start doing its thing so that's really important to understand as well. It's not, this is not a quick fix, okay? This does take time to ramp up, but it's going to be totally worth it once you get it dialed in like this because, as you can see here, I don't have to worry about bids anymore. I don't have to worry about individual keyword bids or any kind of that stuff. Google's taking care of all of that for me. And that's a huge time saver when you're running Google Ads, especially at the level and the volume that we're running the ads and the a number of accounts that we work on on a daily basis is kind of outrageous. So... We need to run, we need to have tools like this to handle that kind of volume. And this takes an entire task off your plate for the client you're working on at the time. All right. But you just have to give it time to let it get dialed in. And I usually say 14 to 30 days. You're going to be fine after 14 days. And in 99% of the cases that I've used this, 14 days is plenty of time. Like I'm talking about from the time, the day you set it, 14 consecutive days running, right? Not, you know, not the weekends don't count if you're not running ads in the weekend. So, Five days, five days next week, and then you know for up to 14 days. Once Google gets uh, gets going with that, you should be fine. So if you guys have any questions about Target CPA or any have any questions about my experience with it so far, I mean, I use it for pretty much everyone now. Um, just drop them in the comment section below this video. I'd like to hear your experiences running it because I, I, you know, I've seen it work more times than I've not seen it work. So, but there is people out there, and there might not be a target CPA issue though; it could be a campaign issue. So there's a lot of factors that go into why, if you're not if you're not using it successfully, there's a lot of factors that go into why it might not be working for you. But I can guarantee you, without even talking to you or even knowing the situation, most likely it's because the conversion tracking is not set up correctly on the account. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description. Lots of free trainings, free courses, stuff like that in there. Um, apply to work with us if you want to get results like this for yourself or for your client. And um, 
Besides that, I'll see you guys tomorrow.